My name is Christian Zuniga and I'm a full sale film student. In my program I focus more on camera and lighting, I'm a little more technical. I like to DP usually or camo. The role of visual arts in our mass media world and in my profession I would say is the source of income. I guess, or communication. Advertising companies use it to push their products to people. Storytellers use it to, I don't know, express themselves, I guess. I'd say its main focus would be communication, spreading new ideas. With imagery being almost instantly available because of the new technologies and media communications and such, I would say it has an overall positive effect. It allows more people to communicate, express their own feelings and ideas, and more people's views are getting put out there. Popular images that I've seen frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment industry, it's not so much an image as like an exact picture. I'd say it's like an image of how people are, grand ideas of like how people live and how people fall in love. Um, it's just not very realistic, I guess. So I guess in a sense it's putting out images that are not wholly true. There's definitely images that the industry has popularized and created. Like the idea of uh, true love at first sight, stuff like that. The action hero beats the shit out of everybody, saves the day. It's not a one man job. Come on, Hollywood. You could say there's a style. Uh, my favorite visual artist would be Wally Pfister. He's done The Dark Knight, Batman Begins, The Prestige, basically all of Christopher Nolan's movies. And I, I love his style, it's really crisp and clean. I love the movement he captures, and he has really good composition. I'd say my favorite visual art would definitely have to be a film or a video. It's just so much more expressive, you can tell so much more of a story, you can communicate a lot more. A huge collaborative art. So it's cool having all these people involved just to make one little project. So I think that's what I like about it most. My knowledge of famous artworks has influenced me through composition, I'd say, mostly, and maybe lighting. I know a lot of DPs, like, uh, I think his name is Vittorio Storaro, I want to say. I didn't pronounce his name wrong. But I know he looks at, like, old paintings and stuff from Renaissance or other time periods as, like, influence for how he wants to light something. I've definitely snagged like some composition from old paintings and stuff. And they taught us some lighting about Rembrandt lighting, which was made famous by Rembrandt, the painter. He'd have that 45 degree to the cameras, the left or right, um, 45 degrees up, which would create a really nice light across the face, good shadow, good depth. So that's definitely something we've learned from, from past artists, traditional artists, I'd say.